This is Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. And here we have a collection of seven Gottlieb pinball machines in one exciting video game. This is by Crave, and I recently reviewed the Williams Pinball Hall of Fame, which is a newer game, and that uh, came out in 2008. The Gottlieb Collection came out for the PlayStation 2 at the end of 2004. A number of improvements were made for the Williams Collection game, most notably the, the addition of some great music in the soundtrack and a huge, a huge improvement in camera angles. This one has much older games than the Williams Collection does. And the Gottlieb Collection has one of my favorite games of all time, Black Hole. This game has a special place in my heart because back in the early 80s when we had arcades, my dad used to take me out to the arcade and we would spend hours playing Black Hole. I specifically remember shooting the ball into the gravity tunnel and having it drop down into that lower playing field and it was the coolest thing ever. And this game captures that very nicely. It has the lower playing field and the camera zooms in on it which is nice. And uh, it's a tough game. Black Hole is much harder than I remember it being. Similar to what they did in the Williams Collection, this game has terrific instructions on how to play each game. Games like Black Hole can be very complicated, and it goes step by step and pretty much itemizes every target and bumper in the game showing you what to hit for, for what special and multi-ball and whatnot. They also have a little history on the tables and a flyer. One of my favorite things about Black Hole is when the ball drops down into the lower playing field, you get that sound that which is completely improbable because a black hole is named a black hole because of the absence of light. Not even light can escape from a black hole. So how are you going to hear the damn thing in the vacuum of space? Answer that, Gottlieb. If we've learned anything from the movie Black Hole, it's that when you do get sucked into a black hole, when you come out the other side, you end up in Disney World. I opened the review up with some of our own special, bizarre, classic game room music. In the Williams Collection, they added some nice music and sound effects. The music in particular was really good. That's missing from this game, so if you go from Williams to the Gottlieb Collection, you'll, you'll definitely notice a couple things that they've improved for the 2008 release of the Williams game. But for this game, you can just add your own music. You can uh, play with your boombox beside you, or the 8-track player, something with wood grain preferably two speakers for stereo hi-fi sound. This has some really old school games, games I've never seen before, like Ace High for instance. And I tend to like pinball machines from the 1980s or the early 90s when you started to have all, the, all those ramps and whatnot. I like the games that were complicated and had lots to do but didn't have so much to do that it took away from the basic gameplay. Well, these older games are much different and it's much easier just to lose your ball completely. A couple of them, like Central Park, have two slots down the, down the center for the ball to get lost in. Uh, so they're, they're, they're very challenging to play and completely different from from Black Hole, or uh, some of the newer games that are on the Williams Collection. Genie looks like a fun game, but this is a game that suffers from, from the camera angle problem. And what they did in the Williams Collection is they allow you to play with, a, uh, with, a, with the camera pulled back all the way, which I think is the best way to play video game pinball because you can actually see what you're aiming at. And then the camera would strategically zoom in when the ball got near the top of the table. They hadn't quite perfected it for this game, so you have the wide shot where the camera's further out, and you also have a, a camera angle, or a couple camera angles, where you can have the camera closer where it follows the ball around, but that's much more difficult to aim your shots, I thought, unless maybe you've already 
uh, mastered that pinball machine and know what you're aiming for. But if you don't, I think it's that's really tough to play. And Central Park just kicked my ass right and left. That game is that game's tough. I'm not sure if that's one I'd uh, like to play repeatedly. If you like old pinball machines, you'll definitely find some enjoyment with the Gottlieb collection. I'm not sure how many machines Gottlieb made. Probably, uh, probably a lot. So hopefully, there's another set that comes out with some more machines from them. And also from from the Williams collection. I'm very impressed with these games that Crave has developed. They're very well made. The graphics are nice on the PlayStation 2. This game also came out for the Xbox, the PSP, and I believe the GameCube. This is Victory that we're looking at. And other than Black Hole, this is my favorite game on this disc. Never seen it in the arcade, but it's a lot of fun. It's got those ramps and things to shoot for, and it seemed to work well in this game. Victory was a, was a, was a fun game. Now, unfortunately, video games have essentially killed pinball. Those of us who like pinball are always looking for new games to play, and it's a shame there's not that many new ones being produced today. They have fun graphics, like this entertaining uh, teed-off <laughs> pinball machine. But what we really want to see is the classic game room pinball machine. And although I'm not able to replicate an entire machine and show you how I would design it from the from the uh, you know from the layout of the table to the artwork to how the little bumpers and those things that you shoot at would actually spell out game room and they'd be little beer bottles and you'd, you'd hit them and they'd, they'd make smashing sounds and drop down. You'd light up game room and get the multi-beer multi-ball. Now hoping that one of the major pinball manufacturers will approach classic game room to make this machine because I know anybody that likes spaceship video games, explosions, ninjas, and hanging out at the bar drinking a good beer would highly enjoy playing the classic game room pinball machine. And here's a sneak peek at the artwork and sound effects. Welcome to Classic Game Room Pinball. You suck. Multi beer, multi ball, drink them all before they fall. Spell Zarna Mazarna Zox on the drop targets to light the wind squid ramp furnace. Pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> 